I'll present the following uh, order. Uh, I'll talk about the trip channel briefly. Uh, trip channel is a non-selective uh, cation channel. Uh, trip channel consists of a six transmembrane domain and uh, uh, N terminus and C terminus located within the cytoplasm. Uh, according to the sequence homology, trip channel are uh, classified in seven uh, subfamilies. Listen three, uh, using cryo EM, the structure was revealed. Uh, trip C structure, trip C structure was shown last year. We are working on trip C channels, especially trip C one four five channel. Uh, Tipsy one uh, distributed uh, ubiquitously, whereas uh, Tipsy four or uh, in muscle tissue and uh, male or female uh, reproductive system. Tipsy five is usually uh, distributed at brain. We usually focus the role of homomorphic Tipsy four channels and Tipsy five channel in this tissue, but. TRIPSI1 channel always exists at the same tissue. So at the, at the tissue level, the channel exists as a heteromorphic TRIPSI14 or TRIPSI15 channel rather than homomorphic TRIPSI4 or TRIPSI5 channel. Homomorphic <coughs> TRIPSI4 and TRIPSI5 channel shows a double rectifying order and inner rectification double rectifying IV, IV curve, and TIPSI1 shows uh, outer rectifying, uh, TIPSI1 for TIPSI1 5 heteromorph shows the outer rectifying uh, IV curve. This is the activation scheme of TIPSI4 5 channels. Growth vector, a neurotransmitter, oxidized glutathion activate uh, TRIPC1415 heteromer and TRIPC45 <laughs> homo homomers. Uh, GI protein, GI protein are uh, directly bind to the TRIPC45 homomers activate these channels. On the other hand, TRIPC, uh, GQ coupled receptor activate the GQ pathway and GQ also directly activate uh, heteromer and homomer. GQ P2 pathway and GQ PLC P2 uh, pathway uh, play a negative role, uh, negative feedback loop for the GQ activation of TRIPC145 channel. I'll present the binding reason for, uh, for formation, formation of heteromorphic TRIPC14 and TRIPC15 channel. Four subunits. Four subunit uh, make a functional TRIPC channels. There would be three kinds of homomorphic channel, TRIPC1, TRIPC4, TRIPC5 channels. But in case of heteromorphic channels, we are not sure of the combination of TRIPC145 channels. Many researchers suggest that there would be TRIPC14, TRIPC15, uh, some case TRIPC45 heteromers. TRIPC1, uh, function as a channel at the ER membrane or a modulator, modulator of ER mitochondrial connection. To find out the binding region for formation of heteromorphic TRIPC14 or TRIPC15 channel, we used a three cube uh, friend method. We also made a CFP or wipe fee fused or a tech. Uh, construct from for, from TRIPC one four five. Uh, CFP or wipe wipe P packed uh, TRIPC channel were expressed at hex cells. Wipe P packed TRIPC one is uh, localized at cytoplasm, whereas uh, CFP or wipe packed TRIPC four TRIPC five localized at the plasma membrane uh, as of uh, functor. Functor. Uh, FRET between CFP and YFP uh, was measured. 
there was a 30% flat efficiency, and we activate the channel with the universal activator GTP gamma mice. The current density was around uh, 300. In case of TRIPC1, there is no current. Uh, to find out the binding uh, domain of TRIPC1, oh, we made uh, a various deletion mutant of TRIPC1 and co-expressed TRIPC1 with wild type TRIPC4. The, the line scan and the FRET uh, measurement and the IV curve shows that when uh, TRIPC1 well expressed the plasma membrane, the, they, the localization of the TRIPC1 TRIPC4 <coughs> is well matched, and the IV curve showed outer rectification, and that the flat efficiency around 15. On, on the other end, some mutant, the, the lo localization is different from the wild type, and then the I recover with double rectifying shape and the threat efficiency is decreased. With this result, we found out the N terminal cold cold domain of TRIPC1 and C terminal 725, 745 region is important for heteromeric formation. Similarly, we tried to find the domain, uh, binding domains of TRIPC1 for TRIPC1-5 heteromorphomation. Considering our uh, line scan data and then uh, IV shape data and FRET efficiency data, we found out the same N terminal uh, called cold domain and the C terminal uh, 673 and the 2725 reason are important for heteromorphomation TRIPC15. Uh, we also uh, scanned the domain of TRIPC4 and 5 to interact, to interact with TRIPC1. The N terminal uh, cold cold domain of TRIPC4 and the C terminal uh, CIRB domain is uh, responsible for the heteromorphomation between TRIPC1 and TRIPC4. In case of TRIPC1-5 heteromorphomation, N-terminal uh, cold cold domain and the C-terminal uh, CIRB domain is very important. Homomorphic uh, TRIPC1 channel seems not functional at the plasma membrane. Uh, TRIPC1-4, TRIPC1-5 heteromorph form via interaction of N-terminal region and C-terminal region. Based on the recent cryo-EM data, uh, helical liquid domain, uh, lip helix, and uh, ankyl lipid domain are involved in the heteromorphomation between TRIPC1, TRIPC4, or 5. Next, we investigated the effect of TRIPC1 uh, on TRIPC4 and TRIPC5 channels. In, in this talk, I will present the first two to effect of TC1 as a negative regulator. <laughs> as many research already showed, TC1 uh, changed the IV relation of TC4 and TC5 channel. Uh, homomorphic TC4, TC5 channel have a reversal potential close to zero and show the double lexication IV curve. Uh, TC1 homomorph non-functional and in case of TRIPC1415 heteromorph channel, they show uh, out of the rectifying uh, IV curve. Homomorphic, uh, this is uh, already shown that this is double rectifying current and this is out of rectifying. TRIPC1 reduced the out of the uh, inward current at a negative potential and increased the out of the current at a positive potential. Such an effect uh, finally uh, reduce cell excitability. We also test the interaction of GQ and GI protein on heteromeric TRIPC-145-14 channels. Uh, histamine activated in some double rectifying uh, homomeric channel. Also, uh, histamine activate 1,4 heteromeric channel. When we expressed both 
M2 receptor and histamine receptor at the same time, carbacol induced a double rectifying uh, IV curve. On the other hand, histamine induced the outer rectifying uh, inner current, uh, outer rectifying IV curve. In, in case of large, large homomeric uh, IV curve, double rectifying IV curve, in case of that cell, the, 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 uh, the histamine activated TRPC1 for current is very small. So there was an inverse relation between histamine induced current and the carbacol induced current. So, uh, G alpha IO protein prefer the homomeric channel, whereas G alpha IO and G alpha Q protein activate both homomeric TRPC4 and 5 channel and heteromeric channels uh, consisting of TRPC1 and TRPC4-5. Budoman group showed that TRPC1 reduced calcium permeability of TRPC channels. We also tested whether TRPC1 reduced calcium permeability by taking calcium indicator to TRPC channel as Mark uh, Freitzel did uh, show the previous talk. We also used the GCAMP. We tried to measure the calcium through the TRPC4 using GCAMP tech the TRPC4 channel. First, we, ma we made a GCAMP fusion TRPC4 channel we op when we apply the uh, angular RNA, it uh, induced large inode current as in wild type TRPC4. Even when we apply the uh, angular RNA, we can detect uh, calcium near TRPC4 channels. When we applied angular RNA, both current and calcium is well matched. The activation time constant very similar, uh, sim have a very similar course. We also uh, applied uh, carbacol. The carbacol induced uh, inode current. We upside down the, the current trace. And then there is uh, also uh, similar calcium signaling shows the similar time codes. Next, we investigate whether TRPC1 affect uh, calcium permeability when TRPC1 form heteromer with TRPC4. We applied angular RNA to activate current. We, in case of heteromer uh, TRPC14, the calcium increase greatly reduced and shows the outer rectifying IV shape. So TRPC4 tagged with G camps at C terminal shows the same function as uh, wild type TRPC4. Uh, TRPC4 tagged with G camp at C terminals detect the local calcium. Angular and A, carbacol induced the activation process in both current and calcium chain with a similar time course. TRPC1 reduced calcium increase when, when TRPC1 and TRPC4 forms a heteromultimer. Finally, I present TRPC1 as a, a negative regulator for TRPC4 and TRPC5 channel. As I showed at the previous slide, TRPC5 channel was activated by DTM, oxidant DTMP or intracellular oxidized glutathione GSSG. The activated oxidant activated current inhibited by intracellular glutathione or oxidized glutathione induced current uh, inhibited by uh, cell permeable DTT, but it was not inhibited by cell impermeable, uh, TCP. Our results suggest that the intracellular cysteines are important for the action of GSSG or other uh, oxidants. So we searched the cysteine residue and made a mutant or cysteine to find out which cysteine is responsible for such, a, such an action. Three mutant, uh, C7176, 178C181, uh, there is no uh, activation by uh, 5 millivolt uh, oxidized glutathione. 
these two, two residue uh, were essential for the oxidized glutathione action, so we made a double mutant. The double mutant did not respond to uh, GSSG or H2O2, but this double mutant uh, responds to uh, activate the lantanium, so the channel is uh, well functioned, but not respond to the oxidized glutathione. IP with uh, glutathione shows the TRIPC5 glutathione, S glutathione relation uh, occurred at cysteine uh, 176 and 178. Uh, while we are working on the effect of oxidant, a colleague near our lab asked us to co-work up the role of a cholinergic system in Huntington disease. Uh, consequently, we showed that together that M1 cholinergic receptor, CH uh, RMI, uh, where is it? CH, uh, uh, muscarinic uh, cholinergic receptor uh, is uh, imp dependent striatal synaptic function is impaired in Huntington disease. After such a co-work, we planned to apply our concept to Huntington disease uh, because uh, colleague has a lot of tools for Huntington disease research. And even for me, acetylcholine, carb uh, calcium, and cholinergic receptor remind me of uh, TRIPC channels. It is well known that uh, neurodegenerative disease like uh, Huntington disease uh, occurs due to uh, ROS overproduction or uh, increased uh, oxidized glutathione. So we studied first where there is a possibility of TRIPC5 as glutathione relation in Huntington disease model. And, and then we studied whether excess calcium influx through the TRIPC5 and aberrant calcium signaling might cause neuronal cell damage. <coughs> To apply our result to Huntington disease, we first used the cell line. Uh, Q7 is a striatal cell line obtained from wild type Huntington duckin mice. And the Q111, this is a striatal cell line obtained from mutant Huntington duckin mouse as a Huntington disease model. We used the BCNU. BCNU blocked the DSSG reductase, so increased the intracellular oxidized glutathione. BCNU uh, induced, uh, reduced uh, cell viability in Q cell as well as in Q11, but the degree was severe in Q111 striatal uh, mutant knocking, knocking mouse model. Even the death cell, death cell is uh, increased in Q111 cell lines. When we apply the NAC, NAC is the precursor of the cysteine, uh, glutathione, then this NAC recovered the uh, cell viability. And then we measured the intracellular calcium using uh, yellow chameleon 6.1. BCNU increased the uh, calcium in both in Q7 and Huntington disease cell line Q11. But the time course is quite different between Q111, Q7. The calcium increase occurred very early phase. When we buffered excess calcium with 1.5 millimole EGTA, the, the, that BCNU induced calcium increase did not uh, happen. When we uh, apply the EGTA or free calcium, BCNU induced cell biopsy decrease was recovered to normal levels. Uh, this means the calcium dependent neuronal Huntington cell damage uh, occurred by increased glutathione, oxidized glutathione. Uh, we consider the TRIPC5 uh, as a, a candidate uh, for extracellular calcium source shown in a panel a and B, there is increase in TRIPC5 messenger uh, RNA level, but there is no increase in TRIPC5 protein level. And 
on the contrary, there is a decrease in both in messenger RNA level and TPC1 uh, protein level. Uh, as shown before, there are two kinds of uh, IV relationship. In case of Q7 cell line, the current voltage relationship shows the uh, auto, rectifying, auto rectifying eye shape, indicating the TPC15 heteromer. Uh, but in Q11 cell line, the, the shape uh, changed to double rectifying shape. So uh, in the Huntington cell line models, decrease of TPC1 uh, changed the IV shape. When we applied the DSSG, the, the current increased. And when we apply the ML204 inhibitor of TPC5, that decreases this current. When we applied SIRNA against the TPC5, the both current was completely decreased. So homomeric TPC5 channel modulate uh, Huntington disease strata cell line damage due to highly calcium permeable permeability than heteromeric uh, TPC15 uh, heteromers. Uh, TIPSI-1 seems more important than TIPSI-5, so we studied about TIPSI-1 with the details. Uh, DTMP also increased this uh, heteromeric TIPSI-145 channel, channels. Uh, glutathione also activated this auto rectifying uh, heteromeric-like uh, current. When we used the SIRNA against the TIPSI-1, the cell death was increased compared to the oh, Control SI GRP SIRNA. So decreased TPC1 level attenuate its protective effect in TPC5 mediated calcium influx in Q111 strata cell lines. In, in the previous slide, we showed there is no change in level of TPC5 in Q111 compared to Q7 uh, normal cell line. Does, does this mean uh, TPC5 is not important for Huntington disease? Uh, in our hand, TPC5 plays an important role in Huntington disease cell line due to uh, GSSG glutationylation. So uh, TPC5 blocker ML204 for recovered the P P BCNU induced uh, uh, cell uh, viability. When, even when we use the siRNA against TPC5, the BCNU induced uh, cell death uh, dramatically decreased. Even when we check the uh, S-glutationylation in Q111, there is some decrease, uh, increase of glutationylated TPC5. Finally, we studied the low TRIPS5 uh, GSG glutationylation in animal model, YAK128 mice. In YAK model, uh, there is no change in TRIPS5. On the other hand, TRIPS1 level is uh, decreased. When we uh, checked the TRIPS5 as glutationylation, YAK model, and in continuous uh, patient, there is an increase of uh, glutationylation of TRIPS5. When we applied uh, uh, ML204, uh, TRIPSI5 uh, uh, blocker, DAF32 positive garbage uh, cell, the population was in increased compared to the wild type. And we did a lot of uh, behavior tests. Only layering behavior is uh, recovered by ML204. Grooming, olfactory avoidance, tail suspension test, there is no, no change. So uh, elevated GSSG leads to TRIPSI5 as glutationylation in cystein 2 cystein and channel activation. Sustained calcium increase influx by activated TRIPSI5 cause cell, uh, stratal cell death. On the other hand, TRIPSI1 dimerized with uh, TRIPSI5 and the limit is activity is, and then this TRIPSI1 is suppressed in Huntington disease. So, and, under pathological condition, this portion is increased and 
this one is a uh, uh, S glutathione ratio, glutathione related and increased more calcium influx. Uh, TRIPSI-5 inhibition by uh, ML204 attenuate oxidative cell death and improve the behavioral symptom in Huntington disease. So uh, heteromolization with TRIPSI-1 reduce calcium current, uh, current and calcium influx and regulate calcium permeability of TRIPSI-1, uh, TRIPSI-4-5 when they form heteromer. And uh, TRIPSI-1 act a negative regulator for TRIPSI-4-5 channels in, uh, in these uh, subgroups. So uh, major work done by uh, Chan Si Kong is a work on the effect of oxidized glutathione TRIPSI-5. Uh, he, he, here is uh, Chan Si Kong. And uh, Zhong Yun Myung did a lot of FRED experiment, uh, Mison. Mi Sung Park made all construct, and Jin Sung did the uh, effect of GQ GI on TRIPSI1 or heteromo or homomorphic uh, protein. Ju Yun Go did the uh, TRIPSI1 and calcium and PIP2 story. Uh, my story was funded by Korea National Research Fund. Thank you very much for your attention. Oh, when the TRIPSI-1 is decreasing the calcium permeability. Yeah. But do you think the signaling of the heteromer is still via calcium, or is it a, or is it a sodium I think it's a, sodium is a main influx in, in heteromer. And as you uh, already published, that, uh, that uh, calcium influx seems increased compared to the homomonic uh, TRIPSI-4 or TRIPSI-5 channels. That is a positive regulator of <laughs> sodium influx. Yes. I think, yeah, yeah. So you think it's a sodium yeah, yeah, signaling yeah, yeah, mechanism, yeah, yeah, yeah. even in physiology? We yeah. uh, did a permeability uh, ratio, and then heteromer sodium is very more permeable than cesium and things like that. Yeah, yeah, we'd agree. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes. Is, is there a good Huntington? animal model that you could use the blockers and or the knockdown of TRIPSI-5 or have you tried this already? Uh, actually we got uh, TRIPSI-5, uh, TRIPSI-1 knockdown mice and but the breeding is sometimes quite difficult so we did not try as started uh, uh, making Huntington disease in uh, TRIPSI-1, TRIPSI-5 knockdown mice. There's some material to apply it that uh, compound that it causes uh, destroy the mitochondrial function and induce the Huntington disease. I don't uh, know, but we did not yet. Okay, I think we're uh, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you.